De hedder Bellastock, det er en arkitekturfestival. Øh, så jeg synes bare, vi skal komme i gang. Men øh, velkommen til. Værsgo. Ja, jeg vil sige, at vi, øh, vi gør det på engelsk, fordi vi skal filme det og sende det til nogle franskmænd. Så... Ja, vi Okay, uh, I'm Myos. And I'm Christian. And we're from the Open School of Architecture. And uh, we're here today to talk about our workshop that took place here in Aarhus this summer. But uh, before we start, <laughs> we uh, go one year back and uh, two, these two French exchange students came to us and uh, told us about a festival called Bellastock. So it's thanks to them that we, uh, we made this. Darius and Mathilde. I'm going to tell you about the idea of the Bellastock Architecture Festival, which started in France in 2006, where students from seven different architectural schools came to together to experiment in scale one-to-one -to, -one to build a sustainable city. The, the, the idea was to experiment in sustainable uh, materials, building a temporary city in four days, and afterwards giving back the materials and returning them into the cycle. During the years from 2006 until now, people have come all over the world to Paris to participate in the Bellastock Festival. <clears throat> Each event has had different themes from recycled, building a recycled wood, the pallet city, the sandy workshop, and the one breath city, building in inflatable structures, actually having 1,500 students and young architects participating. The idea about Bellastock is to give back, uh, is also about giving back to the people. Build, building kitchens, for making food for the participants, but, not, but afterwards using them to feed homeless people. Also building a sound caravan, using it for exhibits and parties and events afterwards, and also for parties during the festival. And also taking the ideas from the festival and using them in an urban context, making, for example, the worm, which you see here, really badly. Uh, <laughs> which yes. is actually in Paris. So uh, we had Spark, uh, we were really excited about this idea and wanted to do something similar here in uh, August. So we went to our rector, who thought it was a good idea, and later we got in contact with August Festu, who thought it was such a good idea that he uh, proposed to put it in the official program. And just like the festival in France, we aim to uh, collaborate with a lot of creative people uh, here in August. So we got together with Himmelhelm, which is an uh, organization for greenification of the city, uh, Ville Or, which is a poetry and literature festival, and it's two friends, which is like a base for creative entrepreneurship. Uh, and together with the organizers from Bellastock, we came up with the vision for Bellastock Opus. Now, uh, Institute, they gave us the ground where we can work at uh, and live, and uh, the festival gave us additionally two sites one in, two in the city, one in the park and one in Frederiksgade. When it came to choosing uh, the material here in Denmark, it was like very context aware, so we chose beer crates. Um, and to be able to give even more back to the city when we're done, we also worked with green elements as turf and flowers, which we can see over there. So we sent out invitation and uh, by mid-July, we got approximately 70 uh, participants who had enrolled for the workshop. We used the Bellostock Association in France and the oh, Erasmus, Erasmus uh, Foundation to send out the invites. The Beer Create City, which we decided to build in Denmark, started off with us receiving approximately 10,000 beer crates from Royal Unibrew. We gave 320 boxes to each team of five and 16 pallets for foundations and they used these for walls, foundation, roofing and used them to live in during the festival using stone paper for waterproofing. And to put them together we used cable ties enabling them not to damage the beer crates so we could return them afterwards into the reform system. But the festival is not only about the experimentation, but also about the social aspects of networking and getting new friends across different schools and nationalities. Mm -hmm. 
The festival is about collaborating and working as a commune, also working day and night just because you love it. We didn't only work all the time, we also shared knowledge, doing lectures and socializing and partying, getting to know each other, and also build a batch of art. For example, building a horse out of beer crates just for the heck of it. Yeah, and as we said, we also built out in the city. And uh, the construction at the Frederick's uh, Gather was uh, like this parasite construction, which you see up in the corner, uh, that could act as a vertical garden and also with possibilities to sit in. And the one at Wallace Park was meant to be a pavilion for Wilmer Orr, uh, a pavilion where they could have their posters. And I, we actually managed to put the ghetto blasters in the beer crates and the construction. So you could actually come and listen to poetry coming out of a beer crate. Uh, while enjoying the scenery. The receiving of the constructions went really well. Uh, the media was very happy, but especially got received very well from the children who used the, our construction in Rollsparken for playing hide and seek with their parents, which we actually didn't expect. Also, it was very well received by the audience who used it for chilling and also for going in a green environment to enjoy their lunches. Yeah, and later on the green was actually is planted down at the Gospain now as an urban park. And this is the final image, the final product of the workshop at Gospain. The and it's also city. and it's also the like the sum of all the collaboration between students here in Aarhus, local organization and companies who supported this idea no matter how crazy it was. Exactly.